tonight in this week's CBDNN, mm-hmm. the fight for Mary Jane's name. So, for the first time in a long time these last two weeks, we're actually starting to get news stories, not just C-word stories and all that drama. But there was a good article in Herb, uh, Will Weed Strain Names Die in the Age of Cannabis Legalization? So, uh, weed strain names have a long history that is complicated by years of underground, black market dealings. But as cannabis becomes legal, regulated and mainstream, will old school weed strain names survive? So, the article goes on to speak about how they say, they say, okay, so everyone's selling Blue Dream. They see all these people selling Blue Dream. It's a popular strain. They went and they got a bunch of Blue Dream and they tested it and not many of them were the same. Uh. Mm. Yeah. And okay, so now they've realized there's this opportunity, and I think we've spoken previously about this plant research genome project for weed that they're talking about yeah. partnering with yeah. and that. But what, they, what, they, what the article really boils down to is they say it's not so much that it's going to be strain dependent genetically, strain is more going to be determined by terpene profile mm. than genetics. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if I'm going to call it Durban poison, it's more important that it smells like Durban poison than it's that he's actually a Durban poison. Mm. It must smell and behave like a Durban poison. And then um, if it is, then someone has the rights to it as a valley or a community or a collective or as a district in KZN where the Durban po- uh, poison came from. Mm. The appellation of origin can be that proved be nice. through yeah. that kind of profile. I think it will... I think it's going to be a good thing that um, there's some sort of standardisation because somebody's purple kush is somebody else's pineapple express. Yeah. It's the same thing but different. And if you look, I remember in the States with Myrtle last year, everything's got like berries in it. So a berry this and berry that, orange berries and cookie berries and berries and cushion. Berries berry are popular. And, and berry yeah. gelato. So everyone's going through that fruity stage. And it can't be that. It can't be all of these different things. They've got to be one channel. Yes. Mm. You're the man. You're the man on all of that. I mean, well, it definitely is. They're all following one turf profile, which is a different. Is exactly that. Mm. They're following some fancy genetic traits that everyone's jumped on, and they're all like, "Yes, this is the one." Because they're saying it's about the destination, not about the journey. It's about being. It's. I think it's about trying to stamp weed so you can basically have it for yourself. That's my profile. No, yeah. I, I think that's that. where this is all going. They try to they try to figure out the possible. I was talking about this today with someone about how someone calls say whatever they call it a gorilla whatever something the blue dream points you said blue dream. The cross of blue dream is what is the cross of blue dream? Let's have a quick Google here. Is this going to be like for patent while you Google? Yeah, like you do people that. are going to start patenting strains and things like that. So that's a valid question, Joe. Because I think what the article sort of hints at, but doesn't go too deep into, is everyone's looking at this cake. And they're all just deciding, mm. okay, we need to cut this cake up. They've all agreed on everyone needs to get a cut. But they're trying now to decide what <laughs> knife do we cut this cake with. Yeah, mm. how precise How do we cut this knife? cake? Yeah. Right. Do we cut this by terpene, by mm. genetics, mm. you know? Mm. Well, there we go. So, so like, that they could potentially so that they could, yeah. yeah. What you got going down there? So if we take Blue Dream, for instance, and we look at what a Blue Dream is, is apparently. Right. So Blue Dream is a blueberry cross super silver haze. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> you've got Joe here that makes a blue blue dream, or the exactly. guy that originally has the blue dream, mm. and it is the blueberry haze and the super silver the blueberry and the super silver haze that he chose in terms of his yeah. pheno, pheno. pheno right. that he got in his yeah. grow room. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Then you've got someone down the other side, and they've got a blueberry, and they've got a super silver haze, but they've got a blueberry that they like, and a super silver says that haze that they like. They cross them together and they say, shit, we've just made Blue Dream. Can you believe it? We've, here's my Blue Dream. This is my Blue Dream. Right. So now there's Blue Dream and there's Blue Dream, but they're different. They're not the same. So it's like, it is it is so intricate, this it's whole... It's quite infinite. It is. It's, how, it's completely like, infinite. How far, you know, there's, a, there's a, a quantum documentary called How Long's a Piece of String? Okay. And it actually depends on what you measure it with. There you go. Mm-hmm. You can measure it with a... But how do you School rule it, or you can measure it in quantum. So that's how far down here do you want to go? Because ultimately, that blueberry had to come from some cool. Well, if I look at this in the 1970s into that, Humboldt, that, 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 that yes. everything is derived from yeah. sugar. So this yeah? here it is. Yeah, this here, this particular lineage on this blueberry is 
temple flow cross HTAF, which is temple flow, which is a floral line, which is purple tie cross Afghani. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so now that goes back to mm, the Afghani, that's the right, that's Afghani the side. I mean, right. how do you... Yeah. Every choice, it's, like a, it's, it's actually beautiful to think about. It's like this mind map of one road with a fork, <laughs> Every and, a fork an and a fork, and I this have person lineage, took this road lineage. through there to get to that point. It is, cannot be replicated. I'm sorry. It's exactly like It can't be replicated exactly the same unless you go back to that same guy and say, I'll take seeds from him and work as close as I can on that strain with obviously back crossing and, and, and. But the, um, it's still not going to be exactly the you same. You know, some of those old dudes that they, um, that they had on the camera in Murder Mountain. Yeah. Remember some of those yeah, old dudes those that OGs. went, the OGs that went there to mm. get and came back to Humboldt. Mm. That is an oral tradition that needs to be written down. You know, it's a really important part of just that. Everybody's blueberry came from an Afghani 40 years ago. Mm. Yes. Down that rabbit hole, you see, yeah? That's the interesting part of it. This came from, fuck, probably a Nigerian sativa from the equator. So that could possibly also be... Coming from the same place. Well, no, no. Blueberry. No, 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 is it no, also no, blueberry? No, 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 no. There's a very different trait, smell, everything to that. But what that would be is something that might be very less down that intricate path of... of, of Crosses and whatnot, because Ultimate. this stuff that we get here, this this wedding cake and this stuff, the lin the, the the lineage back right down to its its literally its beginning is and in you can't even there's so many parts. Mm. I think with that kind of thing, mm. Nigerian, it's very stable. It's like it stayed within. But it must have come from another part of another continent. It had to have come from the east somewhere. It didn't. There wasn't any African weed. Okay. This, this this weed came from the east. Well, there the we go. From regarding its ancestry, like right. Or maybe back, yes. and Morocco's not far, and that's got all, all the, the train that came right. down through Africa. Seeds were dropped. Maybe that that dropped, and in that particular uh, line, line line of latitude, it creates a different phenotype yeah, it because it's different to... environmental influences. So it changes it, and it that same seed that you dropped in Europe right down through all the countries down to South Africa, Africa, every single country that it got dropped in will grow differently. It will express differently. It will be a different type Especially of after a couple of generations. <laughs> but now... Yeah, well, that also... I'm and, and 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 <laughs> people in my head. My God, it's like we just need to find... What's the person they found at the cradle? Mrs... Yeah, Mrs. Pless. Pless. Yeah, Mrs. we Pless. seem Pless. to find the Mrs. It's Pless of wheat to find so. out... Well, that's a bone of contention because sometimes it's in Mo Mongolia and other times it's in Nepal yeah. and then it's in Western China. And... But now... So, I'm going to just devil's advocate this for you. Mm. That's what we Dad, missed. You say... <laughs> You say it's got to be this thing to be this thing. It's got to be what it is, and it's got to be grown a certain way and whatever. But now let's say, let's say me, mm. I'm sitting in America, I'm fino hunting the shit out of all my fun pips and that, and I manage to grow something mm. that grows like the perfect example mm. of a Nigerian strain. Yes. And, it's, and it smells like it, yeah. and it tastes like it, and it looks like it. Why can't I say... It's Nigerian. Oh, that's that's what I'm saying. There's you can. There's that's right, your right. you if you've like I was saying, if you, you found different moment. phenotypes that came to make the same sort of thing that But not from Nigerian pips, from different Whatever strains, it is. I okay. mean if you're to grow a plant and it, it's needs to from make a, Africa, a, a but it's something that was supposed to be from website. Europe and it smells the same and grows the same. <laughs> wow. That'll yeah. be great. I mean I get what I get what you're saying. The the chances are unlikely. Are they, though? Because so many people are growing it in so many ways. I maintain the plant is growing us, guys. Um, so everywhere. If you look at a full-on, full-spectrum uh, profile on, from one of the, like, Fields of Green testings, or many tests, that, like, there we go. you know, whatever they find in it, it's up to 30 components, more sometimes, yeah, yeah. 40. If you have the opportunity to grow indoors and outdoors, do yourself a favour and take a plant, a seed, whole seeds, rather, from seed, and take those seeds and put them inside and outside the same plants and look how they grow differently. What, and have a different turf profile? Yeah, different growth. They, they will be different. Will be different. Not yield or looks. Sorry about that, yeah, we're looking about turf profile we're and structure about the inside, and the way, yeah. yeah, and just the way the formation can happen because of different things that happen. Remember, it's different environments. So do you think so you can, do you think a plant can like leach terpenes from somewhere or something? Mm, it's no. Bought, they're, 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 the pips have got the terpene but the genetically natural sunlight it's built into it, yes. And then you can't change well, them along the way. Well, also what happens. Like Joe was saying, that the, with the sunlight, you've got obviously more spectrum and more UVBs, the UVs that allow the plant mm -hmm. to have to protect uh -huh. itself more. Uh -huh. So the 
terpene profile of plants outside is different to inside. It has a different, there's a terpene that's obviously inside there that is naturally caused as a natural sun protectant from for plants inside the mix of all other terpenes. That's mm. always there, so you get that earthy smell, taste, slash, whatever it would be, maybe. I don't know, I'm not an expert, I'm it's just, like I, that, that's my opinion, that's, that's my opinion. It's <laughs> that nature versus nurture. Yeah. <laughs> so here's a funny thing. Yeah. While you were speaking, while you were doing the intro, I was thinking about very quietly asking Dan, I was going to point to your sock on the table. Yeah, and you put sock. up with the sock like this. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, have you ever seen such a sock like that? <laughs> Just <laughs> as I said it. Good. I've got to do this properly. I see Buzz has put on socks for winter, <laughs> lol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's my bad leg, guys. This thing, it's the bad this thing is still kind of ugly. So you should see me walk. I am not escaping zombies. Anytime soon. No. Um, yeah. Nigel Connell, hello, good evening, Nigel. Strain names have no meaning. There are very few growing stable varieties. All the rest might well be in, might as well be an OG Kush. Mm. Ultimately, right at the beginning of the <clears throat> gene pool. Unless you're in Cape Town. But you can't. Cheese. I mean, it would be really <laughs> laborious calling something Afghan cross Thai. No, Afghan cross Thai cross Afghan cross Thai. You like trying to say out that whole entire mm. thing where you could yeah, rather yeah. just say blueberry. <laughs> yeah, or like, yeah. if I just if you go look at that at that lineage of everything that was there, if you were to name everything to keep it at that what they are supposed to have, not have a name but have a name. You know what I mean? They're, like the names are really weird. I do agree. I mean, uh, the same as naming your your kids after all the yeah, I mean, I don't know. But Stones love naming strange. Uh, we could like, never Stones remember the, the lineage of longer and longer and longer with every generation. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, somebody, somebody <laughs> that we all know dropped off a. Uh, Strawberry cookies mm. this week. Okay. And I'd never heard the combination. I've had strawberry everything else. I've had cookies everything else. But I haven't had. But yeah. I understand that. Okay, they've crossed that one now. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right, there's another cross. Yeah. yeah. Because now somebody's strawberry cookies is completely different to the wedding cake that the cookies came from in the first place. That's and so it's, and it, it's all purportedly from a Durban poison, which is really iffy that it existed and in now the first it place. Inside or outside? But that's that another story for another day. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, so it was a inside or outside? There we go. <laughs> yeah. He, like, yeah, he says, I had a blue cheese clone grown by four different growers, all growers using different methods, and not one of them came out the same. Mm. Nice. Let's the see similarities are there, but they were all different, and that's it. They will be. <laughs> Nobody will so when you know. get that picture of those seeds grown by Jungle Boys, and you see those dank buds inside that room, and you're like, yes, I'm going to grow that shit, and then you put it inside your room, and it doesn't come out like that, and you're like, no, fuck these oaks, they, they rob me. No. You just don't have the equipment that they have. It's quite simple. You're just not replicating and spending mm. the money that they have in that room to maintain. Their controlled environment is different to your controlled seed environment. To harvest is very important, and unfortunately, mm. that is just this name of the game. You, if you're growing wine in the Free State and it's supposed to be grown in Cape Town, your wine in the Free State is not going to be the same as Free State. You're not going to get what they get. Oh, sorry, the other way around. What is there? You're not going to buy that plant and grow it at home and be like, why doesn't it taste the well, same as know, there? Now. Uh, Big on the back of the um, manifesto, the Fields of Green document, is the appellations of origin mm. and the fact and the fact that Durban poison has to be registered because there's people in Canada calling Kif Kif. Mm. Something is there Kif. It can't be Kif. It's a Moroccan thing. It's, a, mm. it's a hundreds of years old as a concept. Yeah. Jesus, you know what? You would make a Moroccan's eyes water with that. Yes, you, <laughs> you <laughs> fucking would. Take that on the bus to bloody Casablanca, bro. You'd be fucking flavour of the week. That's like motherload mm. stuff. Anyway, what were we talking about? Weed. Generation. Yes. <laughs> um, so we're talking about appellations of origin and mm. the rights to have a name and can it be your strain and if it was their strain and you grew it and you weren't allowed to, what would happen and how do they prove it? Yeah, I think it also it boils down to uh, what defines a strain. And for me, with many things in life, the definition is ultimately defined by my expectation of it. If, if I th they feel like if I sit down at the coffee shop and I say Durban poison, mm. I just expect it to taste like Durban poison. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever, whatever that is. Whatever that course. is. <laughs> Beyond that, I don't really give a fuck. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely, the name is totally important on the menu. If it's something you haven't heard before, um, I would normally go for something I haven't tried. Uh, I wouldn't actually go for an all-time. If there was a Jack Herrer... In Amsterdam, for I wouldn't bother smoking it because I've got it. I, 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 Abundance it's here. Energy, I love yeah. it. I've got it. It's my favourite of favourites. So um, I would go for something I don't really know. 
But uh, mostly it's berries and cookies and ice creams and it's all ed- food, food stuff, gelatos and mm. anyway, and freaking expensive. So we've got some lack of comments here in the chat. Mm, uh, yes. Zolbart says that all the breeders have accomplished is making genetics that will always look dank, even if it was grown by total noob. So yeah, definitely we know that genetics are stronger than they've mm. ever been. And he was also saying something about check out Adam Dunn, Adam Dunn for Lank Genetic Info. Uh, there's a weird qu- mm. comment here by David. Can we please get some worker vision broadcast of Kush? Oh, because I'm trying, yeah. I can't see it's that. It's fire yeah. our screens to our living room. Huh? Can we please get some... <clears throat> Is that workification? Yeah. Guys. Oh, that's right in front of me. <laughs> Somewhere there. No, it can't. the chat No, it's not. It doesn't mm. refresh. Is that Facebook or YouTube? <laughs> well, go back. Oh, I'm going to have to go spoil on, it. Go, go read it for us. Go read it for Let us. Let me get my... <laughs> Take your glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> Can we please get some Wonka Vision broadcast of Kush Chalk via our screens to our living room? Right. Does that mean we have better dope dope in Maitland? I don't know. Wow. In Maitland? (laughs) Maitland. That's Cape Town. Yeah. My granny had better what? Dupe. Dupe. Oh, here he is. He's back again. Willy Wonka, as in Wonka Vision. Wonka Vision. Wonka Vision. Because he said something about a chocolate something strain. Yeah, dude, I think everything's <laughs> going to be crazy in the end, dude. Eventually it's going to be like Black Mirror of drugs when everything gets digital. But yeah, guys, strains, yeah, it's interesting times. Guys, please remember the poll this week. Are narc dogs bad guys? All dogs rule, narc dogs rule. Uh, I'm getting so grilled. <laughs> uh, uh, they're just slaves to the system, or they're just doing their jobs, man. Oh, <laughs> oh,